hello fans welcome to my youtube channel please if you have not subscribed please subscribe as you do so may god bless you in jesus name isha allah amen and for those of you that are subscribed i pray may god grant you your heart desire this year in the mighty name of jesus amen straight to the point let's see the road today we are talking about Oni of Ife, Kabesio, 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 the king of Oni, the king of Ife has finally got married to his wife, to his queen, Queen Toby Philip. Yes, they are officially married. The father of the king of Ife went to the family house of Toby philip to pay a bride price you know the king cannot be there so the father went in replacement of the king they have gone and paid to be bride price like when we say these things people think it was a joke but a joke has finally come to pass because this time around the king is not ready for any kind of disgrace and any kind of bringing down the palace name to mold again so this time around they have decided to marry them in bunk so when you are going, others are there. <laughs> is this the right way to make women stay in their matrimonial home? Like, I don't understand. Like, what my own opinion in this king marrying these wives? The king, I don't think he's getting married for love now. Because even if they say this woman has been in the king's life for more than six years, that yeah, they have been dating. But the only problem was that the king did not marry her because she already have kids. That's why the king did not marry her. But I don't really know. If the king did not marry her for the first time, I don't think the love was that strong because they said she was there before Naomi. For the king to choose Naomi over her, to choose even that queen that was from Benin City over her, to tell us that um, the king, these two women were the women that the king really loved. Yes. I think the queen from Benin, he loved that uh, woman. And the woman that really took the heart of our king, Oni of Ife, Kabisi, was Naomi. The king was really in love with Naomi. Though he, those women were still around in the palace as his concubine, they were all around. Not only this woman, there were really many concubines in the palace. Yes, but I think the king really loved Naomi. You can see it in his face. You can see it from the way he talked. You can, you know, when you see somebody in love, you see, you see, when you see the way they talk, the way they move, you can read it from them. So, but this one that the king is getting married to all those women now, I don't think the king is getting married for love any longer. This is something like you people should just be there. So anytime, you know, there's they should so that this 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 is a story of I'm going, I'm coming, I'm going, I'm coming, it should be no more. So he's just marrying them because you know this we are the people that were desperate to come into the palace that they never left the king, they were always attached to the queen to the king. So it's very easy for him to bring them to the palace because that is that was their wish right from time. Ashley, Toby, and uh, Miriam, they have always been in the in the picture of the life of Naomi. Yes, they have always been there. So they never left. So it's very easy for them to bring them into the palace. It's not that the king just went to look for them. They have always been there. Just that the king was not married to them. Now the king has decided to get married to all of them. This is what Queen Naomi was telling him then. That if you want to marry them, marry them. She is okay for the polygamous. She knows that she's married to a king and a king cannot marry she alone. Just get married to them and let us be co-wives, which the king refused to do then with Naomi. And now he has decided to do it now because maybe he has learned a lesson from what happened in the life of, in the relationship of Naomi that by not marrying these women and leaving them as a concubine to bring more problems. So the king have not decided to marry all of them. <laughs> all of them. Not that the king really wanted, but they say the, the eyes of the gods of the palace also says that the king must do that. That is one of the things that the king needs to do now. Need to marry more than one wife. So, and among all of them, Miriam is going to be the queen. Because she is the only one that does not have a child. Yes. Because climbing the seat and being the queen of Ileife, according to tradition, the woman is supposed to be virgin. But we have, they have modelized everything now. They can, maybe she can, but the woman don't, she, maybe she might not be a virgin. But she 
must not have a child. That's why maybe Miriam is the first that uh, she's going to be the queen. And these ones are going to be second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. I think many more will still come. Like many of them are still coming. So I'm happy for the king. What do you want me to say? Should I cry for him? I can't cry for him. Because why? I'm going to give you another video about Naomi. What happened to Naomi? So like fans, let's be happy for the king. This is what he wants in his life, getting married to many wives. Maybe this will give him joy. This will give him happiness. This will make him be a real man this time around. So, KBAC, congratulations to you. Congratulations to the palace. We are happy. We hope that peace and love reign in the palace of Onife. So, fans, I will end this video here. See you in my next video. And in my next video, I'm going to talk about Naomi. Yes, Naomi. Naomi have really moved on. I'm going to talk about her. See you guys in my next video. Bye-bye. Please subscribe as you do so. May God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.